Kazakhstan. What flag is that? Where on earth is that? Isn't that the country Borat is from? Okay, let's try again. Kazakhstan, a country we know nothing about. As a traveler, I'm learning that when you know nothing about a country, it's best to just listen. I'm Karima from Hijabi Globetrotter, and this is Ask a Local. Today, we have Asel, who will be informing us the real deal about her country. Hello, uh, my name is Asel, and I'm from Almaty, the largest city in Kazakhstan. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure, Asel. Here are some questions people around the world would like to know about Kazakhstan. Is Kazakh society welcoming of people of different races? Basically, it's a safe for black folk. Foreigners who lived in Kazakhstan or who visited Kazakhstan tell us that Kazakh people are really hospitable and um, I would say that we're welcoming of people of different races and it would be safe for a black person to visit Kazakhstan. However, not that many people speak English here, so it would be best for you to have a Russian or Kazakh speaking person with you, or you would have to use Google Translate a lot. What is a typical Kazakh breakfast, lunch and dinner? Which is the best dish? A lot of people don't really have a traditional breakfast. We just have a, like a traditional European breakfast, like eggs, sausages, um, crepes or sandwiches, and that's pretty much it. But for lunch and dinner, we have this special dish called uh, Besparmak, which means five fingers, because in ancient times people used to eat this meal with uh, their hands. And it consists of boiled meat, boiled horse meat, and horse meat is super delicious, uh, and of some noodles, mm, some onions, carrots, and potatoes as well. And every foreigner who comes to Kazakhstan must try it because it's super tasty. And apart from that, we just um, have some food like plov, uh, manti. We have a lot of um, Russian food as well, like pilmeni, borsh, and stuff like that. But yeah, our food is more like a fusion of Central Asian and Russian food. What languages do Kazakhs speak? As Kazakhstan was part of the USSR, around 94% of the population speaks Russian and around 74% speaks Kazakh. And apart from these two languages, we study English at school. So um, I would say that a lot of Kazakh youngsters uh, speak Kazakh, Russian and English. But the older, older generation doesn't speak English. Show me some traditional dance from Kazakhstan. I'm really bad at dancing. I won't show you a Kazakh traditional dance, but Karima will attach a link to the video so you can take a look. Is a traditional suit worn? A traditional suit is not worn on a regular basis, but on a Kazakh wedding, uh, brides wear the traditional dress like this, and it's super beautiful. Mm, apart from that, people don't really wear it. What's the main religion in Kazakhstan? Are there many Muslims in Kazakhstan? Is it hijab friendly? Kazakhstan doesn't have a state religion. However, 68% um, of the population are Kazakh people and Kazakh people are Muslims. So I would say the main religion is Islam. However, we're not as religious as um, Arabic countries, for example, uh, because of the Soviet Union's impact on us. As I said, Kazakh people are Muslims, so Kazakhstan is hijab friendly. However, uh, you won't see a lot of uh, Kazakh women wearing hijab on the street. What's the most popular song right now in Kazakhstan? The most popular song in Kazakhstan right now is Salut Vera by Mona Songs. And you can hit me up if you want to listen to it. But the um, song that I want to mention is uh, Roses by St. John, Iman Bek remix. And uh, Iman Bek is actually a guy from Kazakhstan. And I think all of you have heard this song because it was a banger of 2020. What are major holidays and how do you celebrate? Kazakh people have a lot of celebrations and one of them is Kazakh New Year, Nauris. And during this uh, holiday, we just go to each other's houses, have some Kazakh traditional food, or some people go to the main squares uh, where they set up this Attra different attractions for kids to play with and um, another celebration is New Year's Eve as I said Kazakh people are not super religious so we celebrate New Year's Eve 
and this is like our analog to Christmas. So we just uh, set up a Christmas tree and give presents to each other, um, have a family gathering, and that's it. Is wild camping allowed and are there official campsites? Yes, wild camping is allowed in Kazakhstan, um, but if you are doing a serious hike, you need to notify uh, special authorities about it. Uh, and we have some official campsites. If you want to uh, have more information on that, you can also just hit me up. How easy is it for a foreigner to buy land or property? Foreigners are not allowed to uh, buy land or uh, any other property in Kazakhstan unless they have a permanent residency card. What is the impact today of being part of the USSR? We have a lot of impact from being a part of the USSR, but the one that I want to mention is that uh, the population speaks Russian and some Kazakh people uh, don't know how to speak Kazakh and that's really sad. What is your view on transitioning to a Latin-based alphabet instead of Cyrillic? I support the initiative of transitioning the alphabet uh, to Latin from Cyrillic. However, many Kazakhs would disagree with me as um, they think it's unnecessary or that a lot of money will be spent on that, around 500 millions of dollars. But the debates are still going on, um, and I just think that it's inevitable, and um, the alphabet will be laid in. Who are some famous Kazakhstanis? Kazakhstan has a lot of famous athletes, and one of them is Gennady Golovkin, uh, Triple G, a famous boxer. We also have uh, Dimash Kudaybergen, uh, he performed at the recent inauguration of the President of the USA. Uh, and we have Skriptanit, who is considered as one of the best rappers in the post-Soviet Union territory. Uh, we also have Aisultan Siitov, uh, and he directed the music videos for Offset's Red Room and for the music video for 21 Savage um, for his song A Lot. We also have uh, Iman Bek, uh, who did the uh, remix to Roses by St. John and is now nominated by Grammys uh, for the best remix of 2020. And the list goes on. Do Kazakhs consider themselves Asian, Turkish or European? Kazakh people are Asians, but we are Central Asians. And there is a huge difference between being a Central Asian and, for example, Eastern Asian. Uh, for example, we don't eat with chopsticks only for the like Chinese or... Um, Korean or Japanese food, but overall uh, I would say we're more um, related to Turkish people, uh, even our languages are uh, coming from the same Turkic roots and uh, our religion as well, but uh, yeah, Kazakh people are Asians. Kazakh or Kazakhstani? How do you call yourselves? Both are correct, however, if you're saying that someone is Kazakh, you're referring to his ethnicity. But, uh, for example, Korean people coming from Kazakhstan or Russian people coming from Kazakhstan, they would be considered as Kazakhstani people. Uh, so that's the matter of ethnicity and nationality. What do Kazakhs think of Borat? Do the Kazakhs speak the local Kazakh language in Borat? In Borat, he speaks in Polish many times. How close is your language to Polish? Kazakh people have different opinion on Borat. And uh, some really hate it, some just take it as a comedy. The first part was even uh, banned on the territory of Kazakhstan. And before the release of the second part, Kazakh people started um, signing a petition to cancel Borat. And there was a Twitter hashtag going around to cancel Borat. And uh, Kazakh language has nothing to do with Polish. Um, as I said earlier, Kazakh has um, Turkic roots. So uh, Polish is more similar to Russian, I would say. Maybe that's why they used it, because Kazakh people speak Russian. And the interesting fact is that uh, Borat was not even filmed in Kazakhstan. It was, uh, I think it was filmed in a village in Bulgaria. What's your favorite thing about Kazakhstan? In my opinion, uh, the best thing about Kazakhstan is its nature. We have beautiful lakes and rivers, we have forests, we have mountains and beautiful ski resorts. Uh, we also have a desert and we have a canyon and it's a so-called little brother of the Grand Canyon in the US. And we have Caspian Sea as well. And if you come to Kazakhstan in winter or summer, you would enjoy the best views um, of the country.
Wow, Kazakhstan is awesome! <laughs> I would love to visit there someday. Now you know a little bit more about Kazakhstan. I hope your questions were answered and if you have more questions, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. Also, check out Asel on social media. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hasta luego!